get $3 off every order at PlayAsia by using the code CENSORED. Salutations, Mojo from Censored Gaming here. The Yakuza series is one of Sega's most frequented franchises, which balances from a serious story to over-the-top action gameplay. The games mostly follow Kazuma Kiryu and Haruka Sawamura, but the games do shift perspective to other protagonists on the occasion. Previously, we talked about the alteration one of the bosses went through in the Chinese version of Yakuza 0. Today, I wanted to inform viewers of a vast majority of other alterations that the Yakuza series went through in various regions. For this video, I will mainly be talking about the mainline series, but I will also refer to one of the Japanese-only spin-off titles. One of the more well-known alterations that the series has faced is actually in the title. The series' Japanese title, Ryoka Kotoku, which translates to Like a Dragon, was changed to Yakuza when the first game came west in 2006. This was due to marketing purposes. Names of the characters were also changed. The character Shintaro Kazuma was Shintaro Fuma in the west. Akira Nishikiyama was shortened to Akira Nishiki, which was a reference to his nickname in the Japanese version. These name changes were present in the westward versions of Yakuza's 1 through 3, but absent in 4 on. The first title in the series, released in 2006 westward, was probably one of the most altered titles in the series. For one, and most notably, the first Yakuza got an English dub westward. The dub was panned, causing titles to simply rely on subtitles for translation. She'd been spending a lot of time in the host bar, and now she's deep in debt. Since there ain't no way she can pay us back, we're gonna give her a chance to make some money. We're gonna make her a movie star. If you're interested, pick up a copy. The original script was also altered to add more slurs. One such example is in the final cutscene of the game, in which one of the characters calls another a bastard, when in the original Japanese, he simply calls the other scum. The introductory text for bosses was also translated in the main font for the game. Yakuza 2 was the least touched in localization. The translation is more accurate to the original Japanese version's story, and use accurate translations for the first game in its flashback scenes. Like the first game, Yakuza 2's introductory text for fights was translated and written in the game's main font. Like a Dragon Kenzen was the third overall title for the series, but it wasn't brought over westward. Kenzen followed the story of legendary samurai Miyamoto Musashi under the alias Kazumanosuke Kiryu, as he was trying to find out who was the murderer of a girl named Haruka's parents who was going under his real name. Kenzen translates to Arrives, which was a reference to the series' debut on the PlayStation 3. When asked if Kenzen was going to be brought over west, Sega Australia managing director Darren Macbeth said that Sega was focusing on Yakuza 3. Kenzen was never brought over, and this is speculated by some to be due to the taboo subjects of child prostitution, which were present in the game's narrative. Yakuza 3 was released 2010 westward and is easily the most altered from the original Japanese version compared to other games in the series. While the translations are accurate to the original Japanese so Sega wouldn't remove the human drama that was inherent to the series, a deal of other things were removed due to time and license issues. The list of things removed is fairly long, but among the things removed were hostess clubs and 22 of the game's side missions. This was also the first game not to translate the introductory text for fights, and instead had a subtitle below the Japanese text translating who was being fought. An interesting thing to note is that one of the characters spoke English in both the West and Japanese versions. Let's go. Yakuza 4 is the first in the series to introduce multiple playable protagonists and introduce two of the most well-known characters in the series, Shunakiyama and Taiga Saijima. Yakuza 4 was touched much less than Yakuza 3 when it came to localization. The only two things altered from the original Japanese version was a minigame called Answer Cross Answer, which was cut because the text in the images in the game could not be edited, and the opening theme of Butterfly City being changed to a remix of the final boss theme, For Faith. One thing to also note is that Yakuza 4 had a subtitle in Japan, which was Densetsu Osugomono. This translates as Successor of the Legend. The next title in the series is Yakuza Dead Souls. This was the third spin-off in the series, being released after Kenzin and the first game of the Kyuryo Hyo or Black Panther duology. This was the only spin-off in the series localized. Instead of being an action game beat-em-up, Dead Souls focuses more on being a zombie shooter. The game brings back Kazuma Kiryu and Shunakiyama as playable protagonists, introduces Goro Majima as a playable character, and allows you to play as the main antagonist from Yakuza 2, Ryuji Gota. Like Yakuza 2, Dead Souls didn't go through many localization changes. One change was made to the controls, making R1 shoot and square reload, while in Japan it was the other way around. However, you can change these in the options menu back to the original controls. Another change was the subtitle. 
In Japan, Dead Souls was titled to be of the end. Yakuza 5 definitely had a lot of trouble coming westward due to the series' declining sales in the west at the time. However, three years after the Japanese release, the west finally saw the release of Yakuza 5, however only digitally. There were a few notable changes. For one, Yakuza 5, akin to Yakuza 4, had its subtitle, Yume Kanashi Mono, removed. The subtitle translates to Fulfiller of Dreams. Two songs were removed due to licensing issues. The main theme in the Japanese version, Bloody Moon by Gospels of Judas, was changed to an instrumental rock song. The theme, Wild Romance, which plays during a fight late into the character Tatsuo Shinada's story, was changed to an instrumental rock theme as well. Lastly for this video, we have Yakuza 0. As mentioned in the last video, Lao Gui was modeled after and played by Hong Kong actor Sam Lee in the Chinese version. Yakuza Yakuza 0 also had its subtitle, Shikai no Basho, removed. The subtitle translates roughly into The Place of Oath, though most fans refer to it as The Promised Land. For similar reasons to Yakuza 5, the opening theme, Bubble, was changed to be an instrumental rock theme. Yakuza 0 brought back the fight text being written in the game's main font. It's also worth mentioning that all of the title's sexual minigames, such as being able to visit adult movie stores and watch real-life gravure idols, were kept in the western version. While we don't have any information on if the upcoming titles Yakuza Kiwami, the remake to the first Yakuza game, or Yakuza 6 Song of Life, the final game in Kazuma Kiryu's saga, will be altered, although Yakuza 6 retains its subtitle. Censored Gaming will continue to update in the coming months should any information on alterations arise. This has been Mojo from Censored Gaming, I hope you have a spectacular night.